Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, I have the Mavic 3 with me today. Uh, this is uh, Monday, January 24th. And yesterday, uh, on Sunday, we got the big firmware update that everybody's been waiting for for this guy. Uh, so, I'm out at the Snake River Canyon and uh, let's, uh, I wanna try some of that stuff out. Let me, uh, let me take a look at the firmware numbers, etc. Okay, first, uh, at least for iOS, we had an app, app update, and I understand that there was an update out there for the uh, Pro Controller as well. I don't have that. I just have the RCN1 standard controller. Uh, but the, the iOS app was updated to version 1.5.8, and it s talks about adding quick shots, etc. I'll put that up on the screen. And then, with regard to the firmware update for the drone itself, that's number 01.00.0500. There's a whole list of stuff. I'm going to put it up on the screen so you guys can read it. I'm not going to read it off to you. But I can tell you what I am personally most interested in. Uh, I like the quick shots. They added those back in, so that's important to me. Uh, panorama mode in high resolution, that's another one that I'm very interested in. And uh, I want to take a look at the, uh, the digital zoom for normal video mode. Exactly what that means, I'm not sure. Uh, and then the, uh, the fact that they say uh, that they have updated the zoom capabilities of the uh, telephoto lens to make it look sharper. So those are things that I'm very interested in. And uh, yeah, I mean, I guess that's about it. Like I said, I put those on the screen so you guys could see them. Uh, let's quit messing around. And I already put it on the landing pad out there. Uh, let's get this bird in the air. It's cold out here. That's the other thing I guess I should talk about. Uh, it's about 30 degrees right now, and it's a gloomy day. It's not a great day for flying drones. It's well within the specifications of the Mavic 3, however, uh, so we're not going to have any problem there. Oh, the other thing that I wanted to mention was uh, that, you know, I know a lot of people are having uh, problems with the Mavic 3 connecting up to satellites. I personally have not seen those issues. I can tell you right before I left to come out here, Captain Ray Kelly called me and he was struggling to get satellites on his Mavic 3 in Florida. So uh, I'm anxious to fire this thing up and see how we do. So uh, yeah, now let's quit messing around. Let's get this bird in the air. Okay, uh, I can now kind of echo what others are saying. Uh, I've only got four satellites, and I mean, typically in the past, I've always fired this thing up and almost instantly got satellites, so we'll see how that goes. In the meantime, let's look at the rest of the safety menu, uh, and we are on bypass, which is what I want. Uh, yeah, uh, 35 meters for our return to home altitude, which is good. I'm going to go ahead and calibrate the compass. Uh, because we just did that firmware update, although it's not asking for it. Let's go ahead and do that now. In typical DJI fashion, it took that calibration really well. Uh, and yeah, uh, <laughs> wow, I'm gonna echo what everybody is saying about grabbing satellites. Yeah, now it's got 11. Okay, so now it says it's got enough. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and uh, I wanna switch to, uh, to video mode here. So we're gonna go into video. And uh, we're already on 4K60, that's where I wanna be. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start recording. And uh, I don't see, we got 12 satellites. Uh, so it did grab satellites, it grabbed enough that it grabbed a home point. Uh, so let's go ahead and do uh, an auto takeoff. And yeah, you've got a good view of that. And I'm one glove on, one glove off here. And a little bit of wind has come up. I got to tell you, my fingers are cold. But there goes the drone. And yeah, so this, what I'm saying is the vision system must have been off just because the drone was on the, uh, on the ground. So let's go ahead and go up that usual uh, seven meters that it likes to get to, uh, to look at its landing zone. And I'm going to hover there for a second. So it can take a good look at where it uh, took off from. And, uh, and we'll see if we can get a, uh, a uh, 
a, a precision landing. I'm sorry. I'm cold, man. It's, uh, it's hard to focus on anything. I'm going to try and put my other glove on. I'm going to see if I can fly with two gloves on. Uh, so, uh, okay. Let's bring the drone down there. Man, I, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I'll tell you, what I'm seeing on, looks good on, uh, on FPV. Let's turn the drone around, bring it back down. <laughs> uh, this is pretty crazy. I'll tell you, I, I would have rather have uh, been doing this kind of testing in, uh, in more ideal conditions, but let's bring the drone in, and it's very steady in typical DJI fashion, and you can see that big old gimbal at work there, and... Uh, uh, you know, as usual, even with gloves on, this thing is just a pleasure to fly. Uh, so it looks like we have, uh, we got 17 satellites now, so we're in great shape with satellites, but I do agree that uh, it took a while for them all to come through. So I'm angling the drone just a little bit here, and, uh, and let me drop the gimbal down some. And uh, we're going to do a manual droney, so reverse and up now. And I'm hitting up on that up stick because we got some terrain back there, but we're good. And you can see now we're out over the canyon. Uh, let me angle it out just a little bit more, although I sure, I like going along the uh, edge of the canyon here. I always think that that is very dramatic. Let's grab some more altitude and back it back up and let's start edging out over the uh, over the canyon here and yaw around here and give you a view. God what a beautiful day and you can see all the snow uh, that's on the uh, on the side of the hills here it's definitely cold and you know, usually we see a lot of fishermen and so forth down there in the canyon. No, they're not there now, are they? <laughs> a little too cold. One of the things I want to show you, I'm going to pick up the gimbal just a tad. And I'm sorry I'm a little bit clumsy because I am because I am flying with gloves on. But, uh, but I saw some cattle on the other side of the, uh, uh, on the ridge here, on the other side, almost directly in front of me. Uh, that we're right on top of the ridge there on the other side of the canyon. So we can go over and take a look at those guys. In fact, that might be a good opportunity to uh, mess with zoom a little bit, huh? So I'm going to take off my glove for a minute and I'm going to do zoom on the uh, touch screen now. It's, I, I think this is what it means. I have the zoom button available, even though I'm not in explorer mode, uh, I have the zoom button available. So I'm gonna click on that one X on the, the right-hand side of the screen. And yeah, so it did, it zoomed in. And yeah, there, there you can see those cattle. Let me kind of zero in on them a little bit here. When I was zoomed clear out, I could not exactly see them. So then let's do that one more time. Whoops, and it just went 1x to 2x. So I think that evidently is it, maybe, without going into explorer mode. Let's hit that again. Yeah, and it just went out to 1x. So you have 1x and 2x without going into explorer mode and stopping recording. So that's what they mean by that. Uh, let's, let's, we, let's try it with the function button, too. Yeah. So with the function button, I'm holding down the function button and the, the roller and I can zoom in, I can smoothly zoom in and zoom out. So that's what they meant by that. Okay, cool. So the other thing that they said, and I'm gonna show you this in a different spot. I'm gonna have to stop recording and we're gonna put it in explorer mode or explore mode as they call it. And then and let's start recording again. And, uh, and I am going to do this with the, uh, with the button on the screen. So let's go 2x. And let me pick that camera up so that we kind of get centered on those guys a little bit. Let's see how close we can get to those cattle out there. So then uh, one more time. Yeah, it gives us 4x. And uh, I'm going to pick up that camera a little bit more. 
And then the next time I touch it, it should take us to 7x, which is the, the, uh, the uh, telescopic, uh, or the, uh, yeah, the zoom camera on top of the drone. Yeah, and there's 7x. And what they said was, is that they sharpened that up. And I will have to agree that that is uh, one of the things that was disappointing earlier is that it was not the sharpest picture. But let's go ahead and move on in. Next step is 14x. And we're getting kind of up close and personal now. And let's one more step should take us to 28. Yeah, and there are those cat there's those cattle. Uh, so I'll be anxious to see what that looks like on the SD card. And of course I took my, my glove off to do this. And this is me yawing over so we can kind of look at some of the other guys out there. Oh man, how'd you like to be one of those cows just freezing your tail off? Of course, I guess they got the fur to take care of it. They don't seem to be uh, too upset about it, do they? <laughs> uh, pretty cool. And, and let's go back to 1X so you can see how far away from those guys we actually are. And by the way, that did take us down to 4K30 when we did that. Uh, okay, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave it in that explorer mode because there's something else I want to look at here that we have, what did I do? I hit, I think I, yeah, I stopped recording. Sorry about that. I accidentally hit that button. I mean, I'm telling you, uh, it is, it is freaking cold. I'm trying to get my glove back on now, my other glove, because my fingers are really, uh, really getting cold. And the problem is to touch that touch screen, my friend Ron Brown keeps telling me that I need to use photographer's gro uh, gloves, but I've struggled with those. Okay, let's move forward here and let's go look at the Swan Falls Dam. And we've done that before with this drone. And yeah, we're about 14 meters per second. Uh, let's go ahead and throw it into sport mode. What the heck? Well, I'm trying with my gloved fingers. There's sport mode. And let's go full stick forward. There's not much wind out here today, so we should be pretty good. And here this guy is gonna crank right up to about, uh, looks like we're getting, yeah, 20 meters per second. We're moving right along. That is, uh, you can't complain about that kind of speed, even over 20 meters per second. Not a lot of wind today. Okay, we can kind of see the dam off in the distance. Let me kind of move. I'm going to move sideways and kind of move out to kind of get it in the middle here. And uh, let me lower the camera down. And again, we're going to zoom again. And, uh, uh, you know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll try and do that with the, uh, with the scroll wheel and the function button. And I'll see how well I can do that with gloved hands. So... Uh, pardon me if I mess this up, guys, but uh, holding down the function button and zooming in, trying to get to two times. There's two times zoom, and that's still on that main bottom camera. And what I want to see is if it jumps, there's uh, three times zoom, and we're getting in closer. Let's get to four times zoom. There, oh, yeah, and it jumped to seven, so that's what I was looking for. So I was hoping that they smoothed out that jump, but it jumps right from four to seven. So there's 3.9. There, yeah, see, I couldn't get it right on four. And then now there's seven times zoom, and I'll be anxious to see how that picture looks. And then, man, that's a neat shot of the Swan Falls Dam, isn't it? That looks really cool. But let's go ahead and, and uh, zoom on in and see how much detail we can get and see how it looks. Uh, and boy, we are getting a lot of detail. There's 16 by zoom. Uh, let's keep going in. And that is the old part of the, uh, of the dam that you're looking at right there. There's 28 by zoom. And I'm picking up the camera. That's me moving the camera up. And I'm going to yaw over a little bit so you can see that 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 part of the the uh, that that is the old power station that was built in the early 1900s, and you can tour that, and it is just amazing. In the summertime, I think there's one or two days a week that they open it up for tours, and uh, it is it is just phenomenal seeing what high tech was uh, at the uh, turn of the 19th century. 19th to 20th century and then and then right there is the new power station and of course it's about a hundred times more efficient than that old one is and a lot smaller I don't see any water going through it right now though so 
evidently they're they're holding back water so uh yeah i mean this is just uh th th that'll just show you the capabilities of the zoom camera and i'm anxious to see if this what, what i see on the sd card i can tell you that it definitely does look uh different and let's go right back out to one so you can see how far away we are and there there's one by zoom uh so that's pretty darn cool uh that is that is pretty wild and, you know, like I said, on FPV, that looked pretty good. Now, I won't know till I see the video off the SD card just how good that looked. But, uh, but okay, so I'm going to take it. I'm going to stop recording. I'm going to go out of Explorer mode. And uh, so we can get back to 4K60, starting recording again. And trying to put my gloves back on again. I'm telling you, it's a struggle. Okie dokie. Let's uh, bring this baby back around. Well, in fact, actually, we're kind of in a good spot here to try some panoramas, aren't we? So, shoot, that means, uh, that means I got to take my gloves off again. Doggone it. Okay, so I'm going to click on the little film strip uh, at the top there, and we are going to go down to Pano pano and yeah format now how i you know it, it's it said high def pano so i'm not sure what that means we're not going to do sphere but we're going to do uh 180 wide angle and vertical so let's start with that 180 yeah and the cool thing is about this as well it's doing that I can put my hand in my pocket and the drone listen I'm gonna tell you the drone is just performing beautifully and look I have 21 satellites so that is very different than what other people are reporting boy it seems like it's taking a ton of pictures I I'm kinda of, I, I wondering what we're yeah and it's putting it together right now uh, 72 percent but anyway, satellite-wise, we have 21 satellites, so we're, we're awesome. And I know a lot of people are complaining that, you know, they can only get uh, 12 satellites and it takes forever to get them. And it, it did take us a while uh, to get satellites. So there it looks like it's just about got it stitched together, 97%. Yeah, and it's it's done. So, okay, let's go back in there again. Click on that one more time. We're going to go to Wide Angle and click Start. We'll shoot from this same vantage point so that you can compare uh, all of them. And yeah, so that's all it took. And man, it doesn't waste any time getting it done. It, it does that in a big hurry. And then lastly, we'll do a vertical uh, pano. Vertical start. And that shouldn't take very long. Yeah, and it didn't. It's already putting it together. And we're good. Okay, that means I have to put my gloves back on, doesn't it? We're at 56% battery, so, so we're in good shape. Uh, okay, so let's go, uh, let's turn around and come back uh, to us here. Let's go back into video mode and let's start video. I am busily trying to put my glove back on while not dropping the controller. Yeah, it's kind of one of those days today, guys. So let's uh, let's kind of, we're going to fly back, but let's kind of do it, see if we can do it in a scenic uh, fashion here. Let's go over the, get closer to the ridge, which I think is where, you, typically where all the fun stuff is at. And again, we're in sport mode. Maybe I should put it back into normal mode. In fact, I'm going to do that. Sorry, I'm stopping. Man, I, I'm telling you, gloved hands, it's hard. So, okay, we're back in normal mode. We've got our, uh, our obstacle avoidance back on. And let's drop some altitude here. Get about even with the, uh, with the ridge. And let's, uh, let's kind of move sideways along the ridge here. 
And uh, yeah, this is where all the fun stuff is at anyway. Dropping us down a little bit more. And that's the cool thing about this drone is that you're not so, you know, with the with the amazing obstacle avoidance on this drone, you know, you can you can get in up close and personal to things that you otherwise would just, at least personally, I would uh, I would struggle to do. Let's kind of move sideways along the rim here. And speaking of raptors, I can see in the reflection on my screen as I'm flying, there's a, uh, there's a raven flying above me. I hear him screeching a little bit. Let's get in a little closer here. And this is pretty cool because this guy, you can, like I said, you can get close and, and not, uh, not worry so much because it does have that just astonishing obstacle avoidance and I this isn't the best day for this but uh, but man I love this here we go right along the edge of the rim is this cool or what this is fun stuff and I guess, you know, again, I'm saying that there's just not many drones that you'd, that you would uh, be comfortable doing this kind of stuff in. Uh, and this drone is one of them. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, you know, flying backwards like this, I would normally be just so afraid of running into something that uh, that I would never do it but uh, but with this guy you, you got that confidence and you know then you have the speed when you want it too I mean look at this you can just crank it right up this is so much fun Hope you guys are enjoying the view as much as I'm enjoying uh, doing this. Uh, just an astonishing drone here. And there I am right there. Let's keep, let's bring it in closer. And by the way, I guess I, you guys can probably see by the way I'm standing there that I am, uh, I, I'm, I'm facing away from the drone. So, uh, so that's how good this OcuSync 3 is. You know, I'm facing away from the drone and, uh, and, and you know, still getting uh, uh, this kind of signal. Okay, let's bring it around in here. And let's see, we're down to 43% battery. So I'm trying to decide whether I should start the quick shots or put in another battery. I'll tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to change batteries. Let's, uh, let's go out on a quick flight out here and let's try a return to home and see how we do with precision landing. Give you guys another uh, look at the, uh, at the edge of the canyon here from a different perspective. From over the canyon part of it. And we'll get out here a little ways and uh, we'll do a return to home and uh, with that intelligent return to home and it'll come down kind of like an aircraft. So I'm edging it over the side, back over the side of the canyon and uh, we get down to 40 percent here and we'll hit that uh, return to home. How's that for a view, huh? Man, oh man, oh, that is so cool. I love flying this canyon, I gotta tell you. Okay, we're at 40%. I'm gonna hit return to home on the controller. And let's watch the drone. We're just gonna let it do its thing. And uh, we're gonna get that yeah, intelligent uh, return to home, which should be, should be kind of fun here. And we'll see if we get uh, a precision landing. If not, we'll just cancel, and I'm going to take off my glove in anticipation of that, in case I do have to cancel. I got both gloves off. And that's me dropping the gimbal just a little, giving you a better look at the ground there. The 
the ice cold <laughs> ground. <laughs> I tell you, this is a cold and gloomy day. I'll tell you, this, this drone is just such a pleasure to fly. I mean, uh, you know, I know uh, some of the complaints have been about those satellites, and we kind of showed a little of that, although we have 21 satellites right now. Let's bring this guy, and I've got the camera starting to point it down. There's 90, degree, 90 degrees down. And let's see how it does. Let's see if it finds that uh, landing pad. And it doesn't look like it's going to, oh, there it goes. Yeah, look at it, zeroing in on it. Yeah, yeah, it zeroed in on the pad. You know, I was just getting ready to cancel it, and uh, boom, there it, uh, it just found it right away. So, so we're good. It's two feet on and two feet off, but that's okay. Uh, okay, I'm going to stop recording. Uh, let me, uh. Let me switch out the batteries. I'm going to shut everything down, switch out the batteries, and, uh, and we'll take off and we're going to try out the quick shots. Hey, okay, I, I've got uh, my second battery installed uh, on the uh, Mavic 3. Uh, we've got 22. It was 23 satellites just a minute ago. Now, uh, uh, earlier I was a little bit mystified about the obstacle avoidance sensors. I think while the drone is on the ground they're off and so that's what I missed uh, earlier. I'm sure as soon as we take off here uh, they'll they'll come back on. So uh, yeah, let's. Uh, I see no reason uh, not to take off. Let's start recording and uh, let's do a manual takeoff. Both sticks down and in. And check propeller installation. Well, that's kind of interesting. Uh, why doesn't it like, because we just flew and the propellers were fine. Okay. I, I got this same warning on the uh, FPV drone the other day. Uh, and so I'm going to check these props one at a time here. You know, that's something you should always check before each flight, but I'm just wondering if it had, you know, what that warning was all about. Did it notice something? Check complete. They all seem to be tight. Uh, and like I said, we just got off of flight, so that's kind of interesting. So let's try that again. Both sticks down and in. And then straight up. And we're going to go straight up to that seven meters. And we got a good landing that last time, so no reason we... Well, I went up 25 meters. Uh, uh, so I don't know. I probably screwed that up. I was, I was so busy pushing the up stick, I wasn't paying attention to what we were seeing. Uh, and interestingly enough, I am not getting an FPV feed. Uh, it, it's still showing the drone on the ground so that's interesting okay i'm going to stop recording and start recording again yeah i've got a frozen fbv feed well that is uh that's interesting okay we're going to land the drone don't know what that's all about folks so so you guys can see my uh i'll put this side by side on the screen or at least in the corner so you should be able to see me standing in front of the drone now. Yeah, and the obstacle avoidance was pushing it back, but uh, yeah, let's see if we can get over the uh, pad here. I think we're pretty close. Yeah, let's just drop it right down. Well, I'm a little off, uh, but I don't know what's going on with our FPV feed. So I'm gonna put the drone back on the pad. Uh, <laughs> that is, uh, that is fascinating. That is very un-DJI like. DJI, what's going on? Okay, I'm going to stop recording again. And I am going to get out of the app and I'm going to restart the app and see what that, well, maybe let's just go back into the main page and back into the app. And did that refresh it? How would I know? It's still on the, uh. Yeah, okay, let's start recording again. 
and uh, and let's take off one more time. There we go. We got our FPV back. Okay. I've never, I had never seen that before, and this time I'm paying attention. There's seven meters, and uh, we're giving it a look at its, uh, at its home point. Uh, that was pretty interesting there. I've, I've never seen that. And uh, okay, let's, uh, let's move the drone out a little ways, and uh, let's see if we can start some quick shots here. So get the drone looking at us. And yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty anxious to try out the uh, quick shots. They've been one of my favorites. And uh, this is a good place to do it, uh, right here on the edge of the canyon. So stop recording, clicking on that little film strip at the top, and we're gonna go into quick shots. And there we have them. So heck yeah, let's start with the droney. It's got a plus sign on me. Let's go ahead and click on that. And I don't, I thought usually it gave you some options on how far you wanted to go on the droney, but I, I didn't see that. Let's click start and let's just see what it does. Got the countdown and it should be doing this in 4K30. It still says 4K30 on the bottom of the screen. So there is a, a droney uh, that is probably uh, straighter than, than uh, what I could do. Uh, manually and how you know it went back what around about uh, I don't know a little less than 50 meters and it's returning to its original spot and I'm putting one of my hands in my pocket I should put my other glove back on I might do that on our next droney here okay so we're gonna get out of that and the next one down is rocket and that's where it's gonna go straight above us so I'm gonna click on myself and we're gonna start that rocket and while it's doing that rocket, and it's started, I'm going to walk over here and uh, grab a glove. And so I noticed it kept that same spot. It, you know, it, it kind of kept right uh, that spot where I was standing. So. Oh no, look at that, it adjusted a little bit. So maybe it did follow me there. It probably did track me just a little bit there. Okay, uh, so th this is going much quicker than I thought. So let's go back into there and let's do the uh, circle. And uh, we're gonna go clockwise. And let's click start. And it should accelerate as it circles here. And it looks like it is. I'm trying to wiggle a glove on. Uh, and we're in 4K30. And, you know, hopefully we'll see it. Uh, I probably don't have enough distance where it would have gone over. Yeah, I needed more distance there. We're going to try that again. Because it would have been way dr more dramatic uh, going over the canyon. So, so we are going to, uh, we're going to pull back. And we're going to go up a little bit and pick that thing back up. And and of course, it's not it 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 it's not giving me the the uh, the little plus sign. But let's see if we can draw. Yeah, yeah. No, there it seems like it's got it now. So let's try this. And this should be a little more dramatic because. Uh, Hopefully we'll get the drone over the side of the canyon. And here I am wiggling another glove on again. Yeah, that's working. And look, it found that spot. So that works. That did it. And it should speed up. And, you know, the cool thing about the Mavic 3 is you can do this with confidence. And there we go over the side of the canyon. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Boom. Now yeah, that's a that's a much more dramatic effect. And yeah, so it's yeah, it's so it needs me to select again, but we're going to move on to the next one, which is Helix. And I'm going to have to select myself again. And it's got it. Good job. Let's click start. 
that's the cool thing about a, uh, a drone that's got a really good processor like this is it can do that kind of stuff and, and manage it all. Some lesser drones, you know, they'll, they'll lose your spot, etc. And it's got that GPS spot marked there. And this helix, of course, it's like a big corkscrew. Now it's over the side of the canyon. Yeah, I always thought it was kind of odd that we didn't get this stuff uh, with the initial release of the drone uh, because uh, it, it's, it's always been kind of a fixture on DGS drones since the uh, original Mavic Mini. Uh, yeah, but, uh, but anyway, that, that looked really good. Boy, that, that was awesome. You know, those are the kind of shots that you can, you can build into a video. Uh, I think that's just really cool and you can automate it and then, you know, worry about uh, other things while you're doing it. So we're back to the start position. Let's go back. We got the last one, which is boomerang. I'm not quite centered on myself, but that's going to be good enough. Let's go ahead and hit start. And a boomerang kind of, uh, kind of what it does is it, uh, it, uh, yeah, it's, it's starting and it's doing it, starting kind of slower than what I remember in the past. But what it should do is it should be, uh, it should be raising up now. Yeah, and it is. So it's, it's kind of coming around in an oblong, and then it raises up, and then when it goes back the other way, it'll drop down to its original height. Yeah, this one's gonna look good. Look at that, right over the edge of the canyon. That is a dramatic shot right there. Man, that is so awesome. And look at how high it's going. It's, it's 45 meters high. And so, yeah, 46, we should see it start to reduce now. Yeah, and it's coming back down. And as it comes around, although I see our point of interest kind of wandered a little bit, but, but that's okay, close enough, holy cow. Wow. That was really cool. That was amazing. I really, uh, I really liked that one. That came out great. And we have 25 satellites now, folks. So, you know, I've talked to people before that, you know, I've told them, I said, well, geez, I've got up to 28 satellites with this drone. And they all say, oh, no way, I never get more than 12. We've got 25 satellites right now. So it took it a while to grab them there initially after that update, but man, I, I, I can't complain about, about satellites. Okay, so we, we've tried every one of those quick shots. Uh, you know, while we're here on the edge of the canyon, I think we ought to do a master shot. That's nothing new, but I think that'll be kind of fun. Uh, so let's go ahead and... Yeah, it probably wants to be a little closer. I think the... Yeah, there it got that. So so let's go ahead and uh, click on the... Let's, let's do everything. Let's do everything in large on this one and uh, length we're gonna go large and width we're gonna go large we're in a big area here so we might as well and that's gonna be a three minute uh, start time so let's click start and this is a good uh, this will be fun to see what it does here because this is a good spot right on the edge of the canyon to do it Adjusted its position and now it's doing a droney. And the cool thing about these automated flights is I can put my gloves back on. <laughs> oh, shoot, I tell you. And it's doing a circle now. Oh, this is awesome, man. Uh, and I see I'm down to 21% battery on my GoPro, so we've been flying for a while.
Boy, this is cool. Pitch up and fly forward, so now it'll pitch that, and that's the trail right there to get in here, and then it pitches up, that's cool. And circle close, and it's using zoom to do that. I just think that is so awesome. And I'm watching the drone, man, it is, uh, it is moving through the sky. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Plus I like you can see the track on the map, you can see what it did. Uh, pretty awesome. Then it uh, zooms back out. And uh, now we're doing a, uh, a medium circle. As it zooms in, that's a pretty cool effect. And a rocket. We're about three quarters of the way through here. And the cool thing about this drone is, you know, plenty of battery power down to 65% uh, uh, on the battery. Man, look at that. Look at the edge of that cliff face there. That is cool. Oh, this is going to turn out great. So what I'll show you guys, I'll show you the raw video, and then I'll show you the, uh, the little video uh, uh that it that it creates and it's returning well that was a lot of fun uh, I'm glad we did that and it's making a little showing a little preview of the video here but I'm not interested in that right now uh, so let's go back into video and let's start video and uh, we're going to go down the, the, uh, the river just a little ways and then we'll do a, a return to home and that is uh, probably about enough uh, video. And, and you know this is not uh, a comprehensive review of the update but there were some things that we wanted to look at. Uh, you know, we wanted to look at, at how well the drone does uh, with regard to uh, uh, satellites and connection. Uh, and I have not had any connection issues at all on, you know, on this flight. And, uh, you know, we haven't had any issues with, uh, w well, I will say it was slow to gain satellites. But once we got to see, we've got 24 satellites now. I mean, uh, I'm not having any problems uh, getting a good connection with satellites. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I mean, you, you know, we had the issue with the, uh, when I, the second battery and, and the, my FPV feed was stuck. That was kind of an app issue. That was really weird. Just rebooted the app and, or actually just landed and took off again. And that took care of that. So that one was really weird. And then I'd never, well, I'd seen that, that warning about, props before on the FPV drone. I've never seen it on this drone. So that must be something that DJI decided to add in their infinite wisdom. Yeah, so now I'm getting, yeah, I got a little bit of a weak signal warning there. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. So we are how far away? About a kilometer away, but we're pretty low. See, we're only 15 meters high and I'm shooting through terrain. So let me raise it up here and that'll go away. Yeah, I was, uh, I was shooting through solid rock there, so that one was actually kind of understandable. Uh, I was shooting through terrain, and <laughs> even at that, we were a kilometer away before it, uh, we started having those signal issues. But, uh, yeah. Boy, I'll tell you what, this canyon is nothing but beautiful. I just love, uh, love this view. Threw it into sport mode here, and obstacle avoidance is off. And uh, let's move on down. And we're closing in on uh, 20 meters per second. There's little to no wind today. Just a beautiful day. So just uh, I just thought I'd give you guys one last look at the canyon here before I, before I bring it back. And, and uh, 
you know, this always looks better in the sunlight, but you know what? I, I, it's, it's still beautiful even on a gloomy day like today. And you see a bunch of cattle. I saw these cattle as I was driving in here. Let's kind of lower the gimbal down here a little bit. Hey, cows. Yeah, looks like they're just kind of chilling out a little bit there, aren't they? Okay, I am going to stop right there. We're getting a weak signal again, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, hit a... Uh, let's just go ahead and hit return to home. Go home. Well, look at that. I pointed the camera way up. See, I didn't even know that. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, that's better. <clears throat> so that's going to look really uh, crummy on the video, <laughs> but... Uh, uh, anyway, we've got her adjusted now, and it's coming back to us. And, you know, we're getting kind of a spotty uh, FPV feed there. And again, I'm kind of shooting over a little ridge, so that's understandable. And we're coming back at about 12 and a half meters per second. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cancel that uh, return to home. Let's... Uh, Go back into sport mode and let's kick this baby in gear. Let's bring her on back. That'll get us back a lot faster. Let's take a look down here. Yeah, is that spectacular? That was a big landslide. Who knows how many thousands of years ago, huh? Oh, man, I love that kind of stuff. I just like, uh, I like flying right along the edge of the canyon here. I just think that's really cool. What do we got going here? I think that's just a little snow patch. Yeah, a little bit of snow on the trail there on the side of the canyon. People walk the side of this canyon all the time. I see hikers there all the time. Okay, as we get closer here, I will uh, throw it back in. Sorry about moving that camera around. I'll throw it back into return to home. And because uh, and, I want to try for another precision landing. So back into normal mode. And uh, then I'm going to hit return to home. Go home. And the drone is coming back to us. And I'll drop that camera down as we come. And uh, looks like uh, my GoPro is powering off. So you're not going to see the landing on the GoPro. Yeah, the GoPro just powered off. So unfortunately, you're not going to see that landing. But uh, uh, I, I need one of those, uh, uh, what do they call it, the Enduro batteries for the GoPro. I need to get one of those, a little more capacity. And it's cold out too, so no doubt that affects it. So I like the way that the drone, uh, you know, drops altitude as it comes in. I know some people complain about that. I'm gonna get ready to pause landing. here if, uh, if it doesn't look like we're gonna get a precision landing. Don't wanna land in those bushes. Yeah, oh look there, it's finding it. I was almost, I was just getting ready to hit that pause button. And it found it. Look at that. Yeah. So, unfortunately, you're not going to see that on the GoPro, but it is uh, it is right on the landing pad. I mean, it, la it landed in the center of the landing pad. Doggone it. I'm sorry that we didn't get that uh, on GoPro. There we are. I just moved the camera up on the, uh, on the drone. Let me get everything shut down, and we'll do a quick conclusion. Okay guys, the DJI Mavic 3 on a very cold day today at the Snake River Canyon uh, with the firmware update uh, 0500. Uh, it, uh, I think overall it acquitted itself pretty good. I'm anxious to look and see what that zoom looks like. We did prove that now you can zoom up to 2 by without putting it in Explorer mode. That's pretty cool. Uh, and again, that's just a crop on that main sensor. 
so then we tested that zoom on the other sensor. It looked good on my FPV feed, but you guys will have already seen it. I can't wait to uh, see how it looks on the SD card. Uh, also, uh, then we uh, the the issue with satellites that people have talked about. It did take it a while to acquire satellites. However, uh, we were at a high of 25 satellites at one point, so once it got them, I was in good shape. And I've heard other people say that, you know, they can only get, you know, 11, 12 satellites. Uh, so, yeah, that's, uh, that, that is a problem. And, uh, you know, did it take it a while because it was the first time I fired it up since the update? Maybe. Uh, I, so I don't know. Uh, I'll, you know, as I fly it some more, I'll, I'll be able to get a better handle on that. The, uh, Quick shots seem to work really good. Uh, the quick shots are, uh, you know, it's, they're always one of my favorites, and this is a good spot to do them at here, right on the edge of the canyon. And then we did a master shots just for the fun of it. Uh, and then uh, also, uh, I will say on the second takeoff, that was another anomaly we saw. The FPV screen was frozen there for a second. I don't know, I landed it, uh, uh, started over again, and and, uh, and took off, and it was fine. So. Boy, honestly, I just can't tell you what that was about, but, but it cleared up pretty quick. We did, as I was flying it out there, and what I realized, I was only 15 meters high, and I don't know if you can see the terrain in front of me here. I think that was blocking my signal. And we were out there quite a way, so we started getting signal errors. I took it up higher, and it got better, and then we got out there a little further uh, and, and started having some signal issues and, and turned around and brought it back. Uh, and uh, the, the idiot that was on the controls ended up having the camera pointed at the sky. But uh, that aside, uh, the drone came back. We got two precision landings. I wish you guys would have seen that second one. My GoPro ran out of batteries. It landed right in the center of the pad. So that was pretty cool. Uh, so overall, I'm going to call it a success. I mean, I, I am just having a great time with this drone. I know uh, there's a lot of people that have issues with it, and I particularly understand if you're a professional doing professional shoots with this guy, you don't have time to wait around for it to grab satellites. You need, you need to be able to get it up in the air and get going. So I absolutely understand that concern. Uh, and, uh, and people legitimately uh, have that. But uh, as a recreational pilot, it's, uh, it's uh, no big deal to me. Or when I say recreational, I mean I fly for fun and to make YouTube videos. I'm not out there trying to do YouTube or uh, to, to do real estate shoots, etc. cetera. Uh, so anyway, enough jibber jabber. That's about it. This is Marcus Crawford freezing his tail off with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel out at the Snake River Canyon. If you like this kind of video, uh, please consider subscribing to my channel. Most of all, I so appreciate you taking the time to uh, look at this video with me today. And yeah, of course, we'll see you on the next one. Uh, the DJI Mavic 3, uh, I'm just having a ball with this guy. See you guys later. Bye.